Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. I'm your host Kelly Pally, and today we're counting down another alternate list. Except this time around, we're looking at the Marvel anti-hero Frank Castle himself, The Punisher. So let's jump right in. In at 10 is the Netflix Punisher of the MCU. If you've been following along with the Marvel shows that Netflix has been pumping out, you'll know that Frank Castle appears in the Daredevil Netflix series, played by John Bernthal. He's less of a brooding stoic and actually has a slight bit of charisma to him, occasionally even cracking a joke. And that scene on the rooftop where the Punisher has Daredevil chained up? Well, it's a nod to the Garth Ennis story, The Devil by the Horns. And at 9 is the Marvel Zombies Punisher. After seeing Spider Man disappear, Frank agrees to help a mysterious man who claims to know how to stop the zombie plague from infecting the city. Because if you didn't get from the title, Marvel Zombies is where all the Marvel characters are infected by zombies. It's a good time. But before they can get very far, they try to save Thunderball who's surrounded by zombies. And of course the zombies overwhelm Frank. Then he goes on to bite the Scarlet Witch. Yum. I mean if I was a Marvel zombie, I don't know who I'd bite. Probably Wolverine. I feel like that'd be fun. And at 8 is the Space Punisher. With the tagline of, Punishment is a dish best served in space. We have a Punisher who, as you guessed it, is in space. Taking on the criminal hierarchy of outer space. And aside from having some hilariously wonderful cover art, he takes on a few familiar foes like the Hulk and even infiltrates the Avengers HQ, but in space. The series is really keen on emphasizing that everything in this four issue line takes place in space, in case the title wasn't spacey enough for you. Space. How many times can you say space in one number? It at seven is a man called Frank. This version of the Punisher has a western take on the character, where he's a cowboy in the American Old West, out for revenge for those who killed his family. And you know what? He makes one hell of a badass cowboy. He was part of the 10th Cavalry in the Spanish American War and even met Teddy Roosevelt during one of his campaigns. After the war, he settled on a ranch in the New Mexico Territory, but shared the same tragic fate as all the other versions of the Punisher on this list. Criminals came by the ranch and killed his wife and kids. Except they were after Frank's wealth. When he wouldn't give in, they tied him up to a large wagon wheel in the middle of nowhere to be scorched alive by the sun. But of course, he gets out and then kills them all. It's a good time. And at 5 is Marvel Noir Punisher. Meet Frank Castellone. He's a veteran of World War I who was killed, and his son becomes the Punisher instead. He wears a mask with the classic skull icon, which is later carved into his chest by Jigsaw. Well, that's just dark and mildly uncomfortable. At 4 we have the Pulverizer, aka Frank Casket. This version comes from Earth 9047. And this Frank had a thing for animals, especially dogs. When he came back from the Vietnam War, where he was a vet, he found himself a dog and named it Scruffy. One night when he was taking Scruffy out for a walk in Central Park, a gangster named Bulldog, who hated cute things, actually, kicked Scruffy, which shot him up into orbit, which probably killed him. Anyway, Frank got sad, waited around for the dog, and when it didn't return, this spawned Casket's desire to kill all criminals. I mean, killing puppies will do that to a person. And at three is the Iron Punisher from Earth 28918. Here's the story from the what-if line, one that centers on the Punisher becoming a member of the Avengers back in 1991. He's a freedom fighter, a former agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., and he dons an Iron Man style armor with a big skull on it. So you can imagine what the Iron Man suit does for Frank. Plus he has arm mounted machine guns. I guess he really packs a punch then. In at 2 is The Punisher Kills the Marvel Universe. Created by Garth Ennis, so this alternate version of The Punisher has Frank working as an NYPD SWAT team member after leaving the US Marine Corps. And instead of a gangland slang, his family is killed in the crossfire of a battle between the Avengers, X Men and a group of brood and other aliens in Central Park. When he arrives on the scene, he kills Cyclops, Hawkeye, and Shadowcat out of grief, and is then put on trial for their murders. He ends up being sentenced to life imprisonment, but upon being transferred to the prison, the van stops at an old mansion where a disfigured man named Kesselring offers to give him all the resources he needs to take down the superheroes. And that was an offer he just couldn't refuse. And in at number one is the Punisher of Earth 89124. So this Punisher doesn't use guns. What does he use to punish his foes then? A healthy dose of spanking, of course. He would make criminals write their sentences on a blackboard, sit in a corner with a dunce hat on, and in one particular case, he spanked them. He would also threaten to take their television away for a week. Harsh, dude. Real harsh. And in case you're wondering, this was a product of the Marvel's What If series, so guess that kind of makes sense. The spanking though. Ugh. There we have it, friends. Any versions of The Punisher you love that we didn't include on this list? Give us a shout below and let us know. But for now, I'm Kelly Pally, and you guys have been watching Top 10 Nerd. I'll catch you guys in the next one.